Good morning and welcome back and before we get to our project today I just wanted to do a quick flyover of the bed and kind of show off everything that we had planted a couple weeks ago so you could see just how much it had grown I mean if you remember that video these guys were so tiny the little lettuces and now look at them they are exploding the kale the Swiss chard the lettuce and of course the cabbage is coming along it's just slower but this is a testament to what good soil fertilizer and plenty of rain will do so this morning we're going to be talking about something essential for your garden because if you grow enough of them you'll never go hungry because you can fry them you can boil them bake them mash them you can even pickle them if you want to and we're talking about potatoes absolutely so what i've got here and what i'm planning on doing is if you saw the other videos i've done i always brought my dirt up in these planters well i'm thinking we're going to use these planters to plant our potatoes because this bed over here on the right, I'll just ignore the and ignore the weeds because they're there. I'm gonna pull them. I'm not gonna make you watch that though. This bed on the right is gonna have tomatoes and peppers. This bed on the left eventually is gonna have cucumbers once we've done enough of the lettuce, eaten enough of the lettuce. But I need potatoes. Potatoes are wonderful. So I'm gonna fill these planters, plant the potatoes, and then when it comes time to harvest them, you just dump the planter out and there's your potatoes. That's the that's the plan. We'll see how that goes in a few months. All right, so the first thing first is I'm gonna have to come over here to my planters and I have to put some holes in the bottom because with the potatoes, you're gonna want good drainage. The last thing you want is water standing in your buckets. It's gonna rot your potatoes out and you're just gonna dump them out to find a mess. So three or four holes in the center, three or four holes around the edge should be enough. And then with a planter, you're gonna to wanna to get it up off the ground so that it drains well. You can put a couple bricks under the bottom of it, rocks, anything like that. So once we've got our holes dug, we fill them with the dirt that we've mixed up. Again, this was markdown dirt mixed with the garden dirt. And once we've got our planters filled and drilled, we'll go ahead and put in potatoes. my potatoes now the potatoes you can go you can get these at Walmart in a bag um, usually they're with the bulbs you can get potatoes onions you can get all kinds of stuff or you can go to the local feed and seed store and get them a little bit cheaper now when it comes to your potatoes when you're cutting them it, you can plant a potato in the ground like that there's nothing wrong with that but what we always do is you cut them so that each piece of your potato has an eye and I know we're looking at this and these all look like little fingers. I'm going to blow your mind. These are actually eyes, not fingers. But what you do is you take your do-it-all knife. This is our do-it-all knife in the house. You can cut corn, potatoes, you can do about anything with it. And you want to cut your potatoes so that each half or third, whatever you're cutting, has one eye on it. That's going to be where a lot of your growth is coming from. So just take, cut it, plant that half. There's an eye, plant that half, and there's, yeah, good lord, there's a lot of eyes there. I'm not going to worry about separating that out too much because I don't need but two or three per pot. And uh, I could get a lot more than that out of that potato right there. But just carefully cut through. Make sure that each half or each quarter, whatever you're cutting it in, has something, some kind of growth. And uh, really, that's all there is to getting your potatoes ready to plant. Now, see, this one right here doesn't really have another dominant eye I may just plant it like that There's nothing wrong with that but in any case just make sure you find let's see this one I don't, I don't know about that one 
find as best you can some growth where you cut. Now here, I've got a different potato, and I didn't realize it until I cut into it. Um, all of these potatoes that I've been cutting right here, these are the small little red potatoes. Wonderful. You boil them with some butter and some parsley, or you can make red potato french fries. This one, I didn't realize, I knew that that eye looked a little dark, but I didn't realize until I cut into it, I got a purple tater. And we're going to plant it anyway. I'm going to plant it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plant it as a bonus tater, and we'll see what comes up. I, I don't know if it's an ornamental potato, a... I hope it's not an alien potato. But then if it is, this is going to be a different kind of channel here in a couple months. But we're going to go ahead and get started planting them. So this is what four tater planters look like. Uh, each one's got two to three potatoes in it. I don't want to, they're going to be hair crowded and I've never grown potatoes in planters. Just seen it done, figured why not? I'm fighting for space. But then I realized after I get all these planted, I've still got quite a few potatoes left. And if you look over here, I figure I have a hole. Why not have a control where I did potatoes and planters, and I did potatoes in this empty spot right here. And we'll see which one does better. I've got, let me look, one, two, three, four, well, I've got about seven, seven or so potatoes. This is the ideal way, this is the way I've always planted potatoes in the garden down mom and dad's. You dig a row, put the fertilizer in, put the potato in, cover it, and you leave a mound in the middle. Um, so this will be a good way to walk you through the other way to plant potatoes real quick. And so these are the two rows of potatoes in the bed. I used the pieces of, well, it was part of a crepe myrtle, but the, the little stakes will remind you later, even though that the rows are somewhat well-defined, we're going to be pulling stuff out of here. We're going to be planting new stuff. These will always remind you that your planter or your uh, potatoes, sorry, are between point A and point B. 
and so you know somewhere between there that's where you're going to find them so between what we have in the bed and what we have in our four planters i'm expecting to have potatoes later this year and of course we'll just have to reflect back on this video and see where we had the best production did we have it in the planters or did we have it in the bed but for now this was putting in potatoes and i know somewhere someone's going to notice that i did not drill holes in these brown planters well i actually did i drilled them last year because these were tomato planters last year so these brown ones actually do have holes it just wasn't on tape so no worries there they have drainage they're ready to go these potatoes they are ready to be in a stew i promise all right so that's it for today thank you for following along and if you enjoyed it come back i guarantee you there's going to be more to follow